All, all the excitement that everybody has about the beginning of the season, it was, we were very anxious to actually go out and compete. Um, let's first talk about having people back in the gym and have you guys here. It feels so different. I mean, the guy that does the smoke, I almost gave him a hug on my way out um, just to have that feeling um, of people in the stands. So um, it's really, really appreciated. We worked hard this summer uh, to develop our culture uh, today. We took a step in the right direction. Our, our bench was in the game. Kids were on the floor. Um, different feel. I, I think when uh, North Carolina Central made some runs at us, you could feel that we had a little bit different uh, pushback and understood the game. And so I was really proud of that. And so um, first game, first step. And we're, we're, we're happy where we are right now. But we know we got a lot of work to do. Aliyah, um, it seemed like whenever Coach was kind of referencing them making runs, you made some big shots for your team. What, what did, how did you kind of feel, did you kind of feel like in that moment you, you were being asked to step up and, and hit those big shots and get your team going? Um, I think I knew we had to get something. We couldn't let them keep going on runs. So whoever got the ball, whoever that was, like we had to take care of it and make that shot because we wanted to stop their run. So, yeah, I did feel like um, – I had to make shots, but everybody had to make their shots and get them to stop running the ball. And yeah. Kendall, for you, uh, what does this opportunity mean for you to get a starting opportunity here at, here at Illinois? And, and um, how did this kind of all come together for you here? Yeah, so I was very blessed to be put in a starting position. And I think I've worked on a lot of things during the summer and on the off season that have kind of helped and that have developed my game from last year. So there's a lot of little things that I've been working on that just kind of help in that um, process. So I would just say kind of like working on my game um, a lot in the off season. And you, you got some big rebounds uh, today. You know, did, do you feel like that can kind of spark the team when offensively maybe things aren't going well, getting those second chance opportunities? And do you feel like that worked well for you today as a team? Absolutely. I mean, that's something I kind of pride myself in is my rebounding. Um, I think it's an effort thing, and I think it really, like, an offensive board gets the team going and and, and one gets the team going. So I think I really try and um, make sure I get some offensive boards, some rebounding, and the team has started to do it more in practices. And I think today we did – we could crash a little bit more, but that's something we can work on. But lately in practices, we've had multiple people crashing the boards, which is what we want. Leah, coach was kind of talking about before the game just the different looks that this team can kind of give you. Did do you feel like that kind of got you out of rhythm sometimes offensively as a team? And how'd you kind of bounce back from that to try to get back in rhythm again? Um, I think this team we worked a lot together in practice, and we've had different people bringing the ball up, different point guards, different twos and threes, and I think we've worked on it a lot in practice. So I'm kind of used to it. Um, I think we could get better chemistry, even more chemistry together. Um, but overall, we've worked with – I've worked with multiple different groups in practice and stuff, so I think I'm pretty comfortable with everybody. Thank you. Uh, Aaliyah, Kendall, um, how did you just feel like being out there in State Farm today, first game of the season? Um, for me, it was exciting. <laughs> I like to hear people yell, like, when they – said get loud and all the little kids like scream like it just made me smile so yeah yeah it was definitely nice to have fans back in the gym it was kind of hard last year just like first year of college for both of us and mm -hmm. there's no one in the stands so I think it was really cool to have that kind of atmosphere like you know the smoke the intro video the lights like I think it just kind of helped keep us going and not kind of oh it's quiet out here no one's here so it was it was very nice yeah, definitely great seeing – or not – great not seeing cardboards out there, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, and both of you, both leaders on the court, especially in points, um, what did you think of your performance today? Um, you know, I think um, as, like, a team, I think it really shows, like, what we've been working on. And Coach mentioned in the locker room, like, we've um, – our cult, even from last week, like, you know, we're diving on the floor for loose balls. And, like, last week we were trying to, like, bend over and pick them up. So I think just kind of, like, overall as a performance, it was the first game. So I think there were some nerves kind of in the beginning with, like, shots and stuff. But I think overall, like, once I kind of, like, collected myself, I was like, okay, just another game. Um, it was a little bit easier just to kind of, like, lock in really quick. So, yeah, I think for me – I was kind of nervous because we did have fans, but I got used to it. Um, I think our performance as a team, we could get a lot better. Like we had, 
I don't know how many turnovers. We had a lot of turnovers, so that's something that we need to work on. But overall, I think the little things like the effort, like Kendall said, like was really good. We were getting on the floor. We were trying to get steals. Like we don't want to just sit back in our defense. We want to get steals and things like that. So I think we have a lot to work on, but we did improve a lot today. Yeah, just just like you guys said, um, a little bit shaky, especially in the first two minutes, those shots just going back and forth between you and North Carolina just didn't hit. But um, after that, how did you guys sort of settle into the game and really get those nerves under control? I think it's just kind of like once you kind of get a feel for the flow of the game, I think it kind of just settles you because like they're a very aggressive team. You know, they were throwing a lot of things at us and we've been working on it all week. But still, like when you're in the game, it's kind of nerve wracking. So I think kind of what we once we saw like what they were doing and what they were kind of throwing at us, I think we were like, okay, we've worked on this all week. Like just take our shot, play our game. Don't fall into what they want us to do. So, yeah, I think I'll piggyback off of Kendall. What she said was good. And another thing, we work on our shots. Like we're a hardworking team. We get in the gym. Sometimes our shots are going to fall, sometimes they're not, but we just got to keep shooting, and I think that's what we did today. Uh, Kendall, obviously you finished today with a pretty impressive debut, the 14-17 and 17 double-double. Was there anything specific that you haven't mentioned it yet that you saw out on the court today that led you to that, that uh, performance? I mean, I just try and hunt my rebounds. I mean, that's something that I think um, a lot of people don't do, so I think that's something like I try and make sure I do every game because it obviously helps the team. Um, and I want to try and bring more people along on our team to do it. We're starting to get there, like I mentioned earlier in practice. But I think if we can really get like the entire team to like crash and rebound, I think it's going to help a lot in the future. So yeah. And uh, Coach, I don't necessarily want to break up the positivity from today. But um, after leading in many scoring categories and different uh, stats last season, uh, Jada Peoples came off the bench today. What was your kind of thought process behind that decision? Jada was recovering from an injury, so we were just bringing her back. She's going to be fine, um, and so that's that's where that was coming from. So, sounds good. Any other questions for the student athletes right now? Kendall, um, th there's something wrong with this box score because it says you have no fouls and you only drew three, uh, 17 rebounds and nine field goal attempts without getting a personal foul is amazing. Uh, do you just are you kind of allergic to people or what? <laughs> No, I actually really like playing off of contact, believe it or not. But um, no, I just, it's all positioning. You know, rebounding is kind of like, this may sound cliche, but it's like an art. Like you have to like find positioning, you have to find the angles, you have to watch where the ball's going. So really making sure I get the correct angles, knowing when I can jump, when I can't, if there's someone boxing me out, waiting for the long rebound or pushing them under, but just kind of knowing my body, the other team's body, like just kind of where they are. So that it's really all about like positioning and angles for me. Yeah. Congratulations to both of you girls on surpassing some of those record highs. Um, Kendall, I'm interested in how um, how does it feel playing here at Illinois as a transfer um, coming from a, another Big Ten school? How does that feel for you? Yeah, the, the girls welcomed me with open arms. The staff welcomed me with open arms. So I, it was a very easy transition to be here. Um, I loved the style of play and the culture that Coach Faye and the other coaches were building here. And so it made it really easy for me to be able to come in and adjust. Um, and we got right to work. So they made it really, really easy. And just the atmosphere at Illinois and the love for the sports here is amazing. So it's really easy to come to Illinois and play. That's good to hear. For all three of you, how did that press throw you guys for a loop? I know a lot of your turnovers came from, from that. Was it just being thrown off guard, maybe lack of preparation or needing to clean up some things? Tempo, what would you say? Why did it throw you guys off so much? It definitely wasn't a lack of preparation. Yeah. <laughs> we prepared we all week. Um, yeah, I think it was just nervousness maybe. Um, I think we just had to turn and look instead of just catching and wanting to go so fast because I think we got like a lot of travels we pre during the yeah predetermining our past that's what it was um, we knew what we worked on in practice and we knew what we wanted to look for but in the game it might be different I think we just have to be patient and look drive middle that's what we were trying to uh, get to at the end but yeah I think it's just we worked on that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so I think when it's not your style and you're playing someone else's style, they're always going to be a little bit sharper, and that's their style. Um, we simulated as much as we can. I I can't. I really want to break down how many were unforced. That that's more my. If they're when you play a team that's going to press all the time, you, you know you're going to see that. But we also made a pay a couple times too. You know what I'm saying? There's there's a flip of that. But um, we had some happy feet, and I think that's what we got to take out of our 
our our uh, game. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Uh, you had a moment with Sarah after her consecutive fast break turnover uh, turnovers, trying to break the press. Uh, not fast break, trying to break the press. Right. So you don't expect that kind of, from a seventh year, more, more a freshman, what do you say in a situation like that? You know, she's smart. She's, I didn't really have to say much. I said, just settle down. You know, it, it, sometimes it's like you, you get there and it just, the ball all of a sudden just flies off your, I mean, she's, she's a good basketball player. It just was, it just kind of was rolling on her and we don't really have time to stop it, if that makes sense. So you just talk to her and kind of like next game, um, she's going to be a big contributor for him. It was just a, it, 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 it it, it just affects them, and if you let it keep going, you just gotta let it pause, and then she'll be back. She'll be fine. There was a point in the game in the third quarter where they made it close. You call a timeout, and then Aaliyah hits those back-to-back -back three pointers, and then I know they made it close a little bit in the fourth quarter again, and she hit those big. You know, she went to the basket and got some shots there. How crucial is is her to getting you those key buckets, and do you feel like that's going to be one of her main roles this season for your team? It, it's it's what she was last year. I think the biggest thing is trying to make sure we get her free because people are obviously not going to let that happen um, without her working off the ball. You know, one thing that you have to note during that run, we started executing some plays at the end of the game that the kids collectively really did a good job of passing the ball, setting ball screens, refusing screens. Um, I do know we have other shooters. We had, you know we had some kids off today that can shoot the ball, so that balance I think will come back. It's just one of those days when we weren't all in all cylinders. But um, yeah, I, I, that's going to be a role, obviously. But I, I think we have other kids, so we can't just go, hey, stop her, you stop Illinois. You have referenced um, yesterday how you know 70 plus points a game is what you want to see from your team. You got there t today. Um, what, what did you like that you saw offensively? And what do you feel like is something you really need to work on to, to, to improve the rest of the season? You probably saw me looking over there at the board because I'm like, we're getting to 70. Yes, I, w I wanted to get to 70 plus. We got to score more points. And what I'm basically looking, the execution when they just stopped and went, man, I thought was pretty solid. It, again, we're going to go back to the, the theme of what we didn't like today is the 25 turnovers. You're not going to win ball games doing that. So we've really got to clamp down um, on taking care of the ball. I don't think we're going to run into everybody that presses like that. But we ran into another team you know, earlier when we were scrimmaging that went up and died eyed and stuff. You just have to be able to play different styles that aren't yours. Obviously, you saw we ran defensively, so we've got to be able to simulate that more better in our, uh, better in our, in our practices. But you just can't turn the ball over. Um, and I just think getting, I think you're going to see more depth um, once everybody gets a little bit more, you know, breathing. This was a very hard game to throw young people and people that haven't been in our system because of the chaotic feeling, correct? And so I think our depth will come out a little bit more also. And you had, you know, I, I know with a lot of transition, you had quite a few changes in your in your lineup and your starting lineup. How do you think that came together, and what, what what's kind of what you want to see from that group moving forward? Because I guess other than Jada, is that pretty much the, the starting lineup that you're looking at for moving forward this season? Yeah, I, I think there's some flexibility. I'm never going to tell a team, hey, sit, you got it. You know what I'm saying? So I think the competition for those spots, you want to have them a little comfortable um, knowing their role. So then every time they come into a game, it's like coach is changing the lineup. So it takes a little bit. But I, I think I played eight kids, you know, double figures. I'm not looking at that or eight or nine and I just think we've got more kids that can help us in different spots um, because it's a long season uh, you know where Kendall played 35 but we need her to play 35 today and last one for me you were saying defensively you were going to make some changes there going into this season what did you see from that did you did you see some progress there that you wanted to see from your team for three quarters I thought we did a heck of a job for three quarters what happened and what we told the players is when they started turning the ball over, they started letting it affect their defensive intensity. And we gave up. I think that was the two times we gave wide open looks. We cannot let what happens on one end go and, and follow in the other end because that's exactly how it starts tumbling the wrong way. Um, and so that, that's when I came down and started running more hits because we were taking quick shots. I mean, that's what I told a couple of players. You know, you're up by 15 with X amount of time. We don't come down and take the first available. You know, we want to kind of, you know, milk the clock a little bit. All that stuff takes time. We understand that. But, um, yeah, that, that, that's where I think we're at. We'll, we'll have more depth than I think that you saw today. Eric, her, 
Erica Porter, I sensed her aggression and she got those two fouls. What was, uh, she ended with two fouls and played about uh, four minutes. What was your thought process beside, behind sitting her for so long? Um, well, when she picked up the two, as a player, you go, oh, gosh darn. If we're up, coach is going to, I'm not, I mean, they know that. If we're up, you're probably, you were probably, and plus we have two other players, Gio and, and uh, Eva. And it wasn't so much when I put her back in, sometimes that's, you got to kick back, kick that back up again. She's, she's practiced really well. It was more what Gio and um, uh, Eva were doing, not what she wasn't doing. It, it wasn't really, sometimes it's not a reflection of you didn't do something, those guys stepped up a little bit. And so also if you start changing a lot of lineups at the very end and trying to get them in sync, you know, try to get them in rhythm, it can unsettle what you're trying to do. Erica will be fine. She's worked her tail off. She'll, she'll be back. Okay, yes, I sense that. Um, and then another question uh, related to uh, oh the chemistry that you got that you're focusing on building specifically the winning culture. Uh, what approaches are you taking to develop that culture within the team? You, you give them very distinct um, visions of what it looks like, and we've been doing it all summer. Um, and you know we have themes. We live our themes. When we slip, we for instance our last game after our scrimmage, we actually videotaped this bench and showed them what it looked like. That's a culture builder, right? And they, you could see them kind of go, yeah. And that's, that's a for instance, um, how you build it. And today, it's hard. Kids want to play. There's kids out there that really work hard and want to play, and I didn't play them. But you didn't see that today. And, and that's a really small piece of what you try to build. Um, winning is tough in understanding how to win. And that's what I like today is that when they came at us, you know, when Le uh, Leah came back and hit those two threes or when another kid steps up. I mean, Jayla Oden, for instance, a freshman, you know, she, she had her mistakes, but she also made some big plays. So sometimes you got to kind of have to live with we, as we grow through this. But um, it's a really fun group to work with, uh, and it's exciting. I'm excited for them today. But as we all know, you keep hearing them, we got work to do. We're far from where we want to be. Just one question, another one about Kendall. Um, like, well, you just said she had a double double today. Um, is that sort of the performance you brought her in to have over the season? Is that the, what I expect from her yeah, every yeah. day? Well, I'm gonna let her be human. I'd love, yeah. Let's uh, Kendall every day. Um, I, my, she, she, the thing about it, every day in practice, she's doing that. Like I said, we're, we stat that. She tends to lead it all the time. So I, it did kind of shock me when I heard 17. Um, but she's been leading our rebounding pretty much consistently. Uh, so, you know, I'd love to have her double-double. And I think she's picking a lot of that up for second shots, too. And that's what she's trying to say. We need to get – you can't get to 70s and 80s unless you get easy shots. And that's what she gave us today. And that's why when you heard them also say, we got to get some steals. You know, you got to make this easier than grinding out five on five, and that's typically what we've had to do in the past is grind out five on five. Now we're showing, okay, this defense is starting. They believe in what we're doing defensively. So it's kind of exciting. And she wants to bring people along. Amen. Let's go. All right. Thanks, Thanks guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.